So let's say I was asking you what the solubility of any of my uh, solutes at 50 degrees Celsius. So what you're going to do is you're going to read up the graph. So for example, for SO2, what you do is you'd read up and you'd look on the graph what the solubility would be around right there. And so what you'd say would be, and you'd have to kind of estimate, I'd say that's about um, 5 grams per 100 grams of H2O, and I kind of ran out of room there on the side. But you'd just keep reading up, and so let's do a potassium chlorate. So I'd look right there on the graph, and I'd estimate that it's probably about, um, for potassium chlorate, sorry, I'm running with my finger, um, it's about, um, let's say, 23 grams per 100 grams of H2O. And I, I know yesterday um, we were using milliliters, so sometimes uh, different graphs can use grams or milliliters interchangeably, so don't be alarmed by this. So you just keep reading up the graph for each and every one of those solutes, and you'll be able to get all those different values um, at 50 degrees Celsius. So one thing to note, and I'll, what we'll do is um, I'll use um, KNO3. And so the curve for KNO3 is located right here. And that's uh, potassium nitrate, and that's what we were actually using to, uh, yesterday in class. And so there's our curve right there. And so one thing I could ask you is if I had, um, let's say I had 50 grams per 100 grams of H2O and it was at um, let's say it was at um, 20 degrees Celsius so what I would do is I'd look on my graph and say okay there's 50 right there for my grams of solute and then there's 20 degrees and so I'd look up and you see in this situation we are actually above the curve this situation right here that we're getting, this would be considered a supersaturate. So that'd be super saturated. Now I know that's a giant block of writing, but because we're above the curve, that'd be super saturated. Um, I'll just kind of see if I can erase that writing now real quick. So that's super saturated. <clears throat> um, the other thing I could ask you is. If you had, um, let's say I gave you a, a mass and I said, uh, when is um, 50 grams per 100 milliliter, or 100 grams of H2O, and I asked you when is it uh, saturated. So what you would do is you again, uh, and I'm just going to see if I can uh, maybe get rid of uh, my writing here. I'm just going to get rid of everything. So what I would do again is I'd look on my graph and I'd see 50 right here. And I'd read across and I'd look across on the graph at the point on the graph where I'm hitting the line. And I then would read down and I'd say probably about, uh, so I would probably say the answer to that one would be at about uh, 32 degrees Celsius. So you know, for potassium nitrate, anywhere up here would be considered to be super saturated. Anywhere on the line would be considered saturated. Then what does anything under or below the line count as? And that would be unsaturated. <clears throat> so those are just three important things to note.